Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. As a recording of this TGIF, it is Friday, December 30th, 2022. In just a couple days, today, and then there's tomorrow, and then the following day, 2023 will rear its head, which means a month and a half, 90 days, three months, give or take, of confusion of writing 2022, not 2023, and me probably making mistakes when I do the intro to these videos by saying the incorrect year. It takes a little while, muscle memory. Today I'm just gonna kinda gallivant around, get in my car, I'm gonna drive over to Lake Wales and Bartow area, meet up with a friend, and just see where the day leads, inviting you to join me. Shall we? As I was strolling along here, Thought I saw a snake, not the roots, they look like snakes too, but this over here really looks like a snake, doesn't it? Does it look like a snake right there? Does it look like a snake? It's a rope. But at first when I walked over here, I was like, whoa, thought it was a snake. If you look at it quickly, ooh, a little deception there in celebration. Celebration, celebration, deception, snake alert. All right, I'm gonna get going. I made it over to Highway 27 now. Beautiful day, a little sunny, a little overcast, a little cloudy, but the sun is protruding through. It's a nice day. Hello, cow. Hello, cow. How are you? Pulled off the side of the road here because this cow is very friendly walking up to me here. Hello, cow. Good to see you, cow. Also, a donkey right here. Hello, donkey. Hello, cow. It's nice to see you, cow. It's nice to see you too, donkey. And over in the distance, I'm sure you probably know this donkey because you were just over there. Those are bees to those boxes. Fun fact. I have ended up here at Forever Vintage and Surplus it says park at your own risk over here. Where exactly are we right now, Robert? Whoa, 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 hey everybody, hey guys, yes, let's, let's check this place out. Do you go by Robbie Retro now? That's right, this is the kids on the street call me, but it's great to be here now. <laughs> so explain this place, what is this place? Okay, you know, I popped in here a few days ago and I was just amazed at the Disney collection in here. All Not right. just that, some vintage video All right, let's posters. check it out. Absolutely. Hey everybody, Stacy, very good. Yeah. Okay, you know who when you know who was in Shakes the Clown, right? It was one of Sandler's first, very first uh, acting gigs. Is Adam Sandler in this? Adam Sandler's in Shakes the Clown. Bobcat. The Bobcat. Oh, I have another whole bo oh big box gosh. of this stuff. I just have to find it. I know oh you're getting it. Oh my you're gosh. Buying that. <laughs> can I can I put it, some things set of to the side? Can, yes. What if I want to buy that? Oh. Ooh. Adam probably gets uh <laughs> Look at you day. looking like Michael J. Fox Whoa, right now. Jump You've got the Amy. <laughs> jump shit. <laughs> Dork thinks he's gonna drown. Let's see some more Dick Tracy stuff kind of here, peeking here, out here, of here. Here, here. Yes, what do we got here? It's some Eddie Murphy, something Eddie Murphy does. Uh, 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 uh. Harlem Knights. Nice. Alright, so we got yeah. this looks very This Five Goes West. This Five Goes West. Mr. Destiny! Oh my gosh, Stacy. I need to look find at the other this. Boxes. I got I need it. I need it. Look at this. That's a video store. Uh, uh, that's a counter display. So if you don't want this, I'll buy this. I know you want it though. Oh, are these for sale? I should ask. They're, you guys are welcome to them. Oh, okay. No, Stacy, come on. I have on. boxes. I have, I have more oh boxes. I told him God. I need to Okay, out. so they are for sale. I bought out a video store, the first video oh, wow. store called County. <gasps> oh, that's going to be Oh, oh my gosh, Stacy. <laughs> I kind of need this, Robert. All right, that's yes. yours. All right, thank you. There's all kind of Disney stuff in here, including Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs poster over here, a lot of Mickey stuff. This place is definitely a treasure trove going through this whole look. It's mini. Right over here as well. Even got some vinyl here, Seven Dwarfs yeah. vinyl, Cinderella vinyl. Got some rubber duckies over here. And look at this Mickey telephone. Oh, this piggy bank is great. $25 for this Mickey head piggy bank right there. That is very, very retro. You going yeah, through all the another, posters here? There's another Dick Tracy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grip, get that one. Yep, another Dick Tracy. <laughs> um, uh, we were just talking about Fievel. Oh, there you go. Fievel goes west. And look at this. Oh, something from the post office? Yeah. Oh, the post office salutes the Wild Wild West. Isn't that a cool promo? Look, it's $24.95 oh, VHS. You need this? Oh, that's great. Vito, Pfeiffer. This is a theatrical. Poster. Yeah. 
theatrical poster. Oh, back when it was still a trilogy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's have an, we could have an indie party tonight. I want one. <laughs> you want an indie party? I want an indie party. I feel party. like you've had an indie party at yes, some point in your life. I just had one recently. <laughs> Save five dollars with Diet Coke. So this is over at the Caribbean Beach Resort where they pulled out all the old furniture from the pirate rooms. They have some of it here too. And take a look at this down here. It's like you could like ride with Mickey. So this was from the Contemporary? Yep. Back when on the bottom floor it was all that. The arcade has the Disney license on there. That's great. Even says contemporary Mickey car right there on the emblem. That is neat. Yes, this is awesome. So I think probably part three is my favorite of the Star Trek. I like, well, not Star Trek. I was thinking Wrath of Khan part two. But part I love three. this one, Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd's Give in there. Give me Genesis. <laughs> so you can meet Mr. Sulu. Yes. At the George movie Takai. gallery at Auburndale. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And then Mr. Scott. You cannot meet anymore. He passed on a while back. He'd be in uh, Gainesville, Lake yep. City. And then Chekhov up here. Gaines this is great. City. That's right down the road, Adam. And this is an aerial. Wait, this is probably, what year did Mermaid come out? 89? 89. So this would have been the next year? 90. So this is an old looker hand. It's like, so this is definitely a treasure trove. Now, a lot of this we're probably going to be purchasing. So I don't know what will be left, but yeah. The yeah. stuff's here. Kelly Barton. Oh, Rumpelstiltskin. What? Billy Barty also oh, was right. in Masters of the Universe. Yes. Also by Canon. Yes. You got the Canon Films logo. Yes. Down there. Anything, that anything is good. Canon. Okay, I want that too. And you picked up for yourself a vintage Billy Crystal City Slickers right here. Which I feel like Adam and I and a few other of our friends, we need to remake this today. Yeah, we want to do the running of the bulls. Let's do let's redo City Slickers. <laughs> Can you imagine City Slickers today <laughs> without without Wi Fi? Could it be made? Jack Jack Palin. How great was Jack Palance yes. in that? One thing. Remember Cops and Robertson? One thing. Chevy Chase, that's right. How great is this, guys? 1991, and what a great year that was. Doc Hollywood. So first year I went to MGM Studios. T2, point break. I mean, it opened in 89, but I went in studios in 90. Where do you see PM Dawn? Oh, they were on there. Yeah, Fun sound, fact, I saw sound. PM Dawn at grad night in 91. Where at? At Magic Kingdom. Shut up. When it came out on VHS, was it like a first time on VHS? Early thing? 90s. That yeah. is great. Sold. Look at this, man. Is that Unforgiven? Yes. How sweet is that? Eastwood. Okay, is this really happening? Is no. this an original Beetlejuice? No <laughs> it is an original. What? <laughs> no way. What that is world? good. Is this a theatrical poster? I th it looks like it's theatrical. Wow. Where, I mean, where, where else can you just walk walk into a place right. and find a Beetlejuice? This is a treasure trove. Yeah. If you don't want it, I'll take it, but you can have it. You got first dibs, man. No, you you pulled you it up. It's all you, man. I'll stick with cities. That's so is back. The magic is back. Summer '89. He thought he was too old for this ass, but he's back. He's back. Martin Riggs. <laughs> Martin Riggs. How great is the first Lethal Weapon? I think one and two. Do you consider it? You should consider the first Lethal Weapon a Christmas movie. Absolutely. What about Die Hard? Absolutely. Yes. You do consider Die yes, Hard a Christmas of movie? And Gremlins. Yes. That never turns. In this tube are some promo photos for one of my favorite films. What about Bob? I'm sailing, Dr. Leo. Marvin. Marvin. Bob. A genius. Yes. Baby, baby steps. Me. Baby Look steps. Look at this. So these were, these were vintage, these were sent to the video so store. Good. These Look were sent that. to the video store. You know who directed this? You ever see Dirty Rotten Scoundrels? Yes. The same guy that directed Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, Frank Oz from oh, the Muppets. That's right, Frank Oz Yoda. Yoda. Watch what about Bob you win. What a great movie. Also 91, I believe. Read the Dell book. Oh, okay. It's, it's home video. Home Orion. video. Little Orion. Robocop here. The future law enforcement. Your move, Creep. Vista. Part Get three. That what a cool poster. Yeah, you don't see Vista too much. You're like, uh -uh. that's great. That is a great Look at that. That's such a great poster. It is. It's my That's horrifying. Okay, I think that needs to go with one of us. Yeah, for sure. If you only see one werewolf movie this year, dot, dot, dot. What's the answer? <laughs> Howling. <laughs> Dude, this is off. Imagine having that as a back tattoo. No wolf. Not now. The saw's a part of me, man. Now I'm going to make it a part of you. That's okay. I don't want it. Keep it. Right there. I'll, Jesse, I'll the, be back. Jesse the body. Oh, he, used, he did use I'll be back in there. 
And what's his name from, uh, what was the show he was on? Yes. Family Feud. Yes. He was on it. And this was like the I'll first- I'll be back. Yes. Only in a rerun. And this is reality TV. Yeah, totally. Before reality TV. So you got Alba and the Chipmunks. I didn't know that Michael Jackson performed with the And the Fresh Prince. And then down here is a stand-up of The Doors. Oh gosh. Jim Morrison. So these are up here, a lot of these stand-ups. And then down here, wasn't there like a Beauty and the Beast? Yes. Underneath here, so you got Alba and the Chipmunks. And then there's also, I don't really know if I have need for that, but. Oh my gosh, that's like the original VHS release, Beauty and the Beast. Video store display. Amazing. Full moon there. Full moon. Full moon. They did, what franchise were they? They were the all Puppet, kinds, ma Puppet all, Master. All kinds of retro Master horror 90s, movies. So 30 years there. So we had some pretty good luck finding some good stuff. We got the posters in the car that went back in. And I spent a little bit of money here in this, on this. I'll, show, I'll probably just show what's in here. So I show what's in here? So I got this. So I was just talking about, so I used to live in Anaheim near the Orange Circle. And I, got, I even asked a few people in there what they think this would cost. And I predicted $50 and I asked a couple other customers, I said, what do you think this would cost? Early 70s, you know, very vintage Mickey in his little like Hawaiian shirt. I was guessing 50 bucks. Yeah. Guess how much I paid for Come this? On. $10. Crazy. And then this here, I mean, this is a little more, but I've never, I've never seen this before in its entirety. $75, so I bought this four piece monorail set and a working nightlight, $10, Mickey Mouse working nightlight, vintage. It, it works, you plug it in and it works. So I got those items and from Disneyland, I got a little, I got a little Disneyland cartoon spin, $5, retro McDonald's, Roger Rabbit. We have made a commute over to Bartow now, a little bit of a ways, corner of Stanton and Jackson Ave. What? You, you took your life. You took your life, life preserver off. Sorry, guys. Sorry. So we we are now at a place which I have frequented many, many times. Also, Kyle's here. Oh, oh, over hey, here, Kyle. walking through the random yard there. What do you have in your hand there, Kyle? This is my girl VHS. Be kind, rewind. Look at this. The VHS, my girl. You're also wearing an awesome shirt, Mac and me. <laughs> Long time ago, I did a filming location here all the locations from my girl, but I haven't been to this house in a long time. You said you were here when they were filming? Yes, I was here. I don't, is filming. that true? Yes, true story. Did you meet Macaulay? Macaulay was in the yard. Really? We just, we just drove by, but yeah, Dan Aykroyd, they, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. You saw Jamie right. Lee? Yeah, they're all right here. Wasn't her RV parked around the side over there in the movie? I believe so. I think it was on that corner. I believe so. But yeah. this place is on the market. So if you have the funds, you could purchase this house. It's in, a lot, it's in need of a lot of work, however. It's seen better days, but it would be cool to own a movie home. Filmed a lot of the interiors in here too. Upstairs, guys. There are lights on up there. Now I believe Anna, what's her, what's her last name? Chumsley? Anna Chumsley, yeah, her window was up there. That corner window. And there's quite a few scenes where they're Chumps, Klums, Klumsky? Klumsky. Anna Klumsky. Veda Sultanfuss is her name. Right. And someone just, there's a car circling around yelling things out of the window. I didn't get the first time. This time he said, my girl. Oh, so they said my girl? Yeah. The first time they said something that was very derogatory. Correct. Right. Which I do not want to repeat. <laughs> Maybe they're fans. Uh, judging by the first thing they said, I'm going to say no. Maybe it's Macaulay Culkin. Maybe it's Macaulay, exactly. Maybe Macaulay. it's, yeah, but Macaulay and Anna had a scene right here. They were on this, on this little stairway where they were right here. This was added later. This was added later. But there's like one where they're sitting here. And of course, you can't see without his glasses. His glasses. She runs out of here and across the yard that way. And Dan Aykroyd, I believe, chases her out here. That's right. You can see this is kind of falling in a little bit. I'm not really sure what the asking price is for this, but it would be cool to own a movie home. The staircase, that's the one she comes down and they're having the ceremony, the funeral over there. 
and she like pokes your head through the staircase. So there's the staircase right there. Pretty sad ending that movie. Kind of peeking in there, that's where she was like at the on the staircase, like looking through the the banisters there. There's also a scene around the back, I think, where Dan Aykroyd had a tuba, right? right. Did he have a tuba and they had a party around the back? Yeah, it was right around here. Here's the back door. The party scene here. I think there was a shed over here that's been torn down. That was seen in the in the film. I believe this is like an Airbnb for a while. After the movie, obviously. Wow. Just to show a couple clips from the movie, there's Jamie Lee Curtis and Macaulay and Anna on the front steps, as stated. And then after they film, they place the, the bar here. But still the same wood, so really. So Macaulay and Anna sitting right there. Jamie Lee's feet right there. And then Jamie Lee sitting on the top step on the same wood. So this is the same wood. Screen used right here. This is screen used. Then there's an angle looking down. So the RV was parked on the street and that's where the girls are kind of making fun of her sitting there. You can also see this little marble over here and this pillar also still there currently. Are you getting a selfie right now? Yeah, you're in it. I'm in the selfie? Okay. And, and then I go beat it. Got it? Perfect. I was kind of showing this little... This is original. This right here. And that little pylon oh, yeah. is original. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And then they had the sign over there that said Sultanfus Parlor. And here's one more when the two guys show up and they walk around the back out from the party. It looks like there was always a fence around the pool, but it's been replaced. You can see the building off in the distance with the hearse and all that. Back there still the same also. So there's the angle. You know, if both you guys walk that way, mm -hmm. you'll be recreating both of them walking back. Just walk, stay, yeah, just continue walking back there. You're going to the party. Oh, yeah. We're now waiting at a red light here. I am not in an automobile. <laughs> I'm in a golf cart. Getting the grand tour, Winter Haven. Yeah. Give me the grand tour, Kyle. Welcome, welcome. Glad well, to have you. We have the social, wine and spirits, social lounge. <laughs> Barry and I have never done a golf cart tour through Winter Haven before. <laughs> this is great. Look at this, riding in style on the golf cart. Soon we'll be passing uh, Dairy Down, which is where yeah. Oh, yeah. it all started. They play their music in here? Mm -hmm. What does that sign say above the door? Dairy Down. Oh, Dairy Down. Dairy Down. So ah! A little information placard here. I'm gonna jump out. Hey, here's a little info. December 20th, 1964, Winter Haven businessman Bob Parsons opened the Dairy Downs in this building, which was a club. Coming on to read here, in 1968, Graham Parsons joined the American folk rock standard bears, the Birds, in 69, founded country rock band, the Flying Burrito Brothers. Parsons recorded two gen genre bending solo albums with then unknown folk singer Emmylou Harris died in 73 and Joshua Tree at the age of 26. Yeah. And they changed some you said they changed some laws? They did. What was the law they changed? Something about stealing a dead body. You can no longer do that. You're not allowed to do that You're not anymore. Allowed to do that. Very interesting. Yeah. And it's really cool inside that amount. I've DJed inside there. It's really nice. You've DJed in there? I've DJed inside there. Yeah. Really? Rob MC DJ'd inside there. It's really. Surprising. I never know when you're being serious or not. That is true. And have you ever have you ever heard him DJ? I have. Really? I have. It's, it's cringy, but it's good. 
home to suite. Oh, there's going to be a hotel here, right next so, to Dairy Downs. Yeah, exactly. Dairy Downs or Dairy Downs? Dairy Downs. Dairy Downs. It's pretty neat. Okay, what's the tie into Cypress Gardens with Graham Parsons? His mom, I think, was a Snively, and he grew up on the uh, property of what is now Legoland, formerly Cypress Gardens. There's a little white mansion there, and that's where he grew up. No kidding. And that mansion's still there, yep. if I remember right. So this building was built in the mid 60s, and it provided, wait, well, there's a center in the 60s that provided fledgling musicians, mm. a place to hone their, that's a lot of good words. Three of my favorite words, Norma, Feldman, Felma, and Provo. <laughs> you know what that's from? You know what movie that's from? Okay. Yeah. Library on the left? Yep. And on the right, where's the used bookstore? God, that's so good. Book trainers? No longer with us. No longer with us? Darn it. No more bookstore? There is a used bookstore somewhere about here, right? We got a parking garage. There's the Ritz. Oh, the R is like not lit up. Uh -oh, it's just the Ritz. Ritz. Okay, from this angle, the Ritz is all illuminated. What was the name of this theater before it was the Ritz? Off Limits. So this used to be a club called Off Limits. On the way over, they were telling me that a lot of artists played here, including MC Hammer, before anyone really knew who he was, before he was too legit to quit. Opened up for a band that might be his car. named Two Live Crew. I think maybe Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Not from Star Wars. No, Two Live Crew might be able to drive this like sports car right here. Which is interesting because I think Two Live Crew had a song called Pop That You Know What. <clears throat> which is what the guy that drove by us at the My Girl house <laughs> yelled out the window at us. He called us that word. We found this old newspaper article of their final night back when it was called Off Limits. So confirmed, it closed in 1991. And here's, a, here's the marquee on their final night. Off limits, it's no more. It's been closed for 31 years. Like a Pee Wee's movie where it's like- Got a oh, siren Pee -wee. going by. You're talking about Pee Wee? So, uh, the first Publix was like the Pee Wee, when he's like, well, Pee Wee Herman wants a sandwich. The Pee Wee Herman, you know, where it's like one of those where- you, Wait, what movie are you talking about? In the, the, the Pee Wee, Pee Wee 2. Oh, Big Top, Pee -wee. Big, Pee -wee. Big Top. Oh, Big Top. Yeah, Big Top, yeah, Big Top. Big Top. I'm a fan. So this is, I didn't like Big Top as much as I like Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I don't think anyone did, but this was the first Publix? No, second Publix. The second Publix. I think I've been here before, many years ago. Oh, there's a sign. George Jenkins. Yes. You know, the first job I ever had, well, I mowed yards and stuff in Oklahoma, but my first job I ever had was at a Publix in St. Cloud, Florida. Unbelievable. Yeah. Now, back I never met George started Jenkins. started here in Winter Haven, and now it goes all the way to... Yeah, George yeah. Jenkins, was he, I wonder if he was around when I was working for Publix. I wonder what year Jenkins left us. I never met the man. But it was called the Food Palace of Marble, Glass, and Stucco. <laughs> <laughs> So where's the, you're gonna show me where the first one is? Well, we will, but I was gonna say, there used to be the, the high school right on the corner up here. Yeah. And this building had the very first motion censored uh, automatic doors. So it was such a big deal that these kids would leave and skip class and come down here just to walk in front of the doors and see them open automatically. That's cool. I think years ago I did a video here. I think I did, but it's been probably seven years ago. Hey, look at that. Little documentation down there. I mean, the sign was good too, but this is the second public. So the first and second Publix are both in Winter Haven. What was it? Marble stucco and it was a food palace. architectural marble, marvel of the food, food palace, palace persuasion. <laughs> Which shopping is a pleasure. Paraphrasing. It is. A, it is. We're not done yet. We are too legit to quit because I had to do it because of the sign. See a sign. There's a lot of sirens in Winter Haven. <laughs> yeah, there's a sign. Right there. Is it? Oh, that's it? Yeah. This oh, that's good. Tempo. Right here across from the first Publix is the Bell of Winter Haven. Kyle was telling me this used to be a horse trough back in the day. Horse would like trough in this <laughs> or drink out of this. Okay, the very first Publix. George Jenkins was born in September of 1907. And he rented a space at 58 4th Street, which is standing in front of. Got the idea 
a Publix theater movie chain. I never knew that from a movie chain. This, this is like the water tower. What is Andy Thornall's? It's an outfitter, like an adventure outfitter. Yeah. So on the right, Adam, they will put a stage out here and uh, they've had, they've just had Blues Traveler and we got to meet. Where at? Right up straight ahead? Right up here on the right. Oh, right here. Yeah, actually in front of the water Under tower. Under the water tower. Yeah. So you met John Popper here? Yes, we did. Yeah. John, me and Kyle and John Popper were right there. Together. Known for me from the credit sequence of Kingpin. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yes. That's right. That was, uh, and he signed our Kingpin CD. You got it. You, that's amazing. One <laughs> well, thing about that guy, though, you don't want him to give you the runaround. <laughs> it's a surefire way to keep things up. When all, all he does, slow you down. Uh, is that the <laughs> I think that's the lyrics. Wait, what's the song at the end of Kingpin, though? Well, they used to do a song. That, what is the song at the end of Kingpin? It's not uh, Runaround. It's um. Uh, does that say Haven on the side of that? Oh yeah, that's a good mural. That's a good. Yeah. Really also, what was the other movie? Was it he was in, or they the Blue Ace Ventura when Nature Calls? Ace he does Ventura, Secret Agent Man. Secret Agent Man at the and end. Okay, that's the true. Song from Kingpin is but anyway. But anyway. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're all dancing around in the yes. on the farm. Yes. We're now heading over to a place called Adler's. Add the camera down because we're going pretty fast. Put the camera up. There might be a little wind noise. Miles We're gonna go to Adler's now. Yes. Is it a hamburger joint? Yes. Super cool. Well, I like that Firestone building over there too. Yeah, that's very true. You know, when I started this day, I had no idea I was gonna be on a golf cart. <laughs> Going around Winterhaven. A little retro Firestone building up on top of Adler's. Park right here? Yeah. Speaking of Ace Venture 2. Like a glove. Like a glove. So he wants to go off road. All right, this is it. A place called Adler's. They have the little. It's like a beach right here. And then over here, they have the sign that says Adler's painted on the side. This is at five four three is the address. We pretty much all kind of got the same thing. We all got burgers, hamburgers with all the the additional cheese and whatnot on top of it, and the fries are really good. And I not only the the burgers themselves. Which I think it was just I don't even know I should have checked the menu to see what the burgers were called, but we just got the the burgers, soda and the hamburgers themselves, but then also we got these little squares that are mac and cheese fried squares. So inside these squares were mac and cheese bites inside, which is pretty good. Very nice ending to the day, eating a little meal, a little burger meal here in downtown Winter Haven. The weather's really nice too. I really like the Firestone sign. It's kind of peeking up over the top of the, the burger place. The Cypress Gardens performs a water ski show here. Yes, if you look to your right, Adam, out, out there on the ramp where they call the jump, you can see the Cypress Gardens Water Ski Team logo. Here's the stage. Oh, yeah. Listen, they just had the grand finale for Legoland over there. Fireworks. Couldn't really see them over the tree line, but. Oh, is this safe to walk on? Yeah. I'm walking on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's it's a like ramp so out here, so Cypress yeah. Gardens Ski Team does some stuff out here. Yes. Uh, they, they have the Water Ski Nationals out here too? Yeah, they did. They're world, world Nationals. They have countries wow. all over the world. Right, right here, on this is Lake Eloise? Lake, this Lake is Lake Silver. Silver. Lake Silver. Is Lake Eloise around here? That's the Legoland Lake. Legoland Lake. We went by there earlier. But yeah, this is where the Cypress Gardens Water Ski Team does their ski shows. Man, they're still doing it. Listen. You can hear them, you just can't see them. Sounds like popcorn crackling over there. Backing up, reversing. This is pretty neat though, because you got the skiers down here. Here's a guy on a piano on a, some ski, on a boat and ski a skier next to it. And this is like something you'd see at like a theme park. Look at this, they're like, this is like a, I don't know, this is, this is why, like jumping through fire here. It's like Fast and the Furious for boats. And then there's the Cypress Gardens skiers over there, or Cypress Gardens is no more. Oh, look, there's the Cypress Gardens pool. Right at the end of Cypress Gardens, it's still on Legoland property, even though Cypress Gardens is long gone. It's called Legoland now. And this, this is up here at the top of this little lake we were just standing on. Made it back over to Celebration, just about home. That's gonna do it for today. See you in the next video, the vlog. It was a fun full day. Vlog is over.